As the world marks World AIDS Day this Wednesday, the government now says it has been faced with another epidemic in the war against HIV, stigma. According to Kenya, HIV Estimates Report 2020, Nairobi has the highest burden of people living with HIV in Kenya with an estimated 167,446 residents living with the virus, 12,779 of them being children under 14 years. The, the, the AIDS epidemic is fueled by stigma and the stigma has been really persistent. Um, we are 37 years old. We have talked about um, HIV, how it is not transmitted. But you find that uh, in some of our communities, people even sometimes would, once they know somebody is HIV positive, they even want to stop sharing a toilet. But even as the government is fighting to bring the numbers down, stigmatization has been found to be the biggest hurdle in riddling the country of the disease 37 years after the first case was detected in Kenya. Currently, the government of Kenya has a program which we call opioid substitution therapy. This is basically looking at, um, at medical treatment of helping somebody to stop their addiction to, to injecting drug use. And this is what we are calling harm reduction. Dr. Masha said stigma was high, especially among marginalized communities and some religious organizations, and called on Kenyans to end stigmatization of those living with AIDS. <laughs> usambazaji wa HIV katika Kenya yetu. Pia tunapatia kondom. Hizi pia kondom tunapia tunasaidia kupunguza uene, uene, kuenea kwa ukimi within our area. Currently, there are about 1.5 million Kenyans living with HIV, with close to 1.2 million of them on antiretroviral treatment, commercial sex workers, men who have sex with men, and people who inject narcotic drugs, who are the most vulnerable to contracting HIV because they have a higher prevalence rate compared to the general population. Tunapatia service nyingine nyingi cancelling, tunawa cancel, tunapa ARV, tunapa dwaza TB, tunakontrol TB, a focus group in Kilifi County is currently working with 2,125 youth drug addicts with counseling as well as tuberculosis drugs and ARVs. Lucy Riley for Ebru TV.